What are you doing? You're not actually going into an asteroid field, are you? Oh, oh, Leia. You're not, you're not actually going to go into the asteroid field, are you? <laughs> Never tell me the odds. Okay, guys, look what I've got. Box three of my first case. 2010 The Empire Strikes Back 3D Wide Vision. Here we go. Just to review, this is case number one. This is box number three. Overall, this is the 40th box of this product I've opened in my life. For the year 2024, this is the 13th box. And uh, if the math is correct, I should hit an autograph at about box number 44. And away we go. So let's pull some wonderful artwork. You saw the last couple of videos. I pulled a Shelly Paroline. I pulled a Lynn Workman. And those are artists that I've never pulled before. And the artwork was uh, really good on them. So happy about that. Hoping to pull a Katie Cook. Uh, anybody of you who, who know me know that uh, I'm trying to been trying to pull her for a long time. She uh, only did about 25, 30 cards for this set, and a lot of them have been pulled. And the demand on her is so high that uh, the and there's the sketch card right there. They're all coming early. They are coming early. That was pack number two, I think. Okay, let's pull some wonderful artwork for my collection. Juan Carlos Ramos. So you know it'll be minimal. All right, I've seen some of it. I've got some. I've got several of his uh, sketch cards. Um, I think this is the first time I've actually pulled a Juan Carlos Ramos. I have several in my collection because they go for really, really cheap. But uh, he, I do like actual sketch cards, so we'll see what he has. Oh, okay. I think we got a blue Boba Fett. But my goodness, we're getting some good colors here. The blue Boba Fett. All right, it's blue. It's not the regular black ink. Thumbs up. Uh, if, if it's got to be minimal, at least it's at a good, uh, unique angle. And uh, it's a very interesting color with that light blue, that light blue pencil, baby blue pencil. So there's always got to be a Juan Carlos Ramos or a Howard Schum, which uh, <clears throat> is just fine. But, you know, you got the minimal guys, and then you got the guys who went all out for the project. So Juan Carlos Ramos Boba Fett. Got to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's my first actual pull of his. So we'll see if we can't get an autograph out of this box. And uh, my goodness, the 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 the, auto, the the sketch cards are coming early. You guys have seen that. They're coming in the first two or three packs. So never opened up a case before. My I'm trying to keep calm, but uh, I'm very nervous. I'm having a lot of fun. And uh, this day has been a day in the making for a long time, I assure you. So I'm glad that I'm filming it. I'm glad that you're taking this journey with me. I just want some wonderful art for my collection. If I don't pull an autograph, uh, that is uh, just how it goes because the autographs are very, very rare. One in every 1,055 packs. But I uh, do want to pull some great art. And so uh, we'll continue opening these. I'm going to fly through these so that we can get on to box number four. So box three, Juan Carlos Ramos, a Boba Fett, a blue Boba Fett, which is very, very cool. <clears throat> love the wide vision style. Love these cards. Have plenty of, of doubles from opening up so many boxes through the years. I'm sure people have, other collectors have busted several cases of this. I was not collecting uh, Star Wars sketch cards, didn't know about the product until uh, the, the overall hobby until 2016, January 2016, and this came out in, in 2010. So these sketch cards have been waiting to be freed from the carbonate block. They've been waiting to be unfrozen for... 14 years. And if I get any next year in 2025, it'll be 15 years. So boxes are getting rarer and rarer, but we haven't run out yet. So hopefully this will continue for a long time because this is a 
wonderful hobby. Juan Carlos Ramos. So, very few, of course, uh, his signature is easy to identify, but very few of the artists have three names. It's usually the first name and the last name. So, just seeing the three names kind of get kind of gives it away. There might be some other artists out there with three names in the product, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. Usually, traditionally, just their first name followed by their last name. But a lot of great artists still left to pull. I'm hoping to pull some artists that I've never pulled before, or pull even pull some artists that uh, I have none of. That'll be my first card of them overall for this product. So, we've got Juan Carlos Ramos. Never pulled him before. And then got Lynn Workman, at at driver out of box number two. And then I was able to get <clears throat> Broken C-3PO from Shelly Caroline in box number one. So, let's finish this up. We're already at over six minutes. Fly through these last couple ones. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe. Give me a, uh, tell me an Empire Strikes Back story. What's your favorite line? What's your favorite scene? Get active. Get involved in my community. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. My favorite movie of all time. And uh, how could you go wrong with some Star Wars content, especially whenever it's the Empire Strikes Back. So, all right. Juan Carlos Ramos. Ramos. Blue Boba Fett. Uh, you can also see the dent in the top of his helmet. Little uh, detail there. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe. We'll talk to you next time. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.